Welcome to the Make Every Day Amazing podcast. Do you want to do more with your life, but you feel the cards have been stacked against you? Once you learn that things happen for you, not to you, you can begin to see your own transformation in the mirror, and the people around you will know that you're on fire. This podcast will show you a whole new outlook on life and set you up for success. Your host, Todd Harmison, will help you make every day amazing. Hey, good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Monday morning, day 21 on the journey here in Florida, man. This has been, what a weekend we had. We had rain, 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 rain all weekend. But you know what, man, we got into work on Saturday. And like I said, it was rain, rain. I'm going to jump right into this today. And the employees and the guests, people were in the best mood. It was amazing, unbelievable how just a little gratitude went so far this weekend. I, I just, you know... Uh, today's message is talking about replacing expectation with gratitude. And, you know, we got to work and uh, we had told all the employees leading up to Saturday, hey, it's going to rain all day Saturday. Be prepared. You're going to get wet, you know. And um, we had been working behind the scenes to get supplies and make sure we had rain ponchos and you know, we, we had umbrellas that we'd put down because of the wind and everything. But, you know, in, in doing all of our prep work, we had been telling the employees, hey, bring change of clothes with you. You know, you're going to get wet. You're going to, you know, your socks, your shoes, your clothing. It, it's just, it's going to rain like inches of rain. And, uh, you know, the park's going to be open. And the guests that did come... Were, were just, you know, like they knew they were going to get wet. They expected it. And the employees did too. They came to work, you know, with the, with the knowledge that, hey, you know, hey, I'm, I'm going to make the best of it today. You know, and we went around, man, and we were handing out rain ponchos to the guests. We were handing them out to our employees. And people were so thankful for that. You know, and, and the message is replace gratitude or replace um, expectation with gratitude. You know, we didn't have to do that. Certainly don't, we do not have to just give away rain ponchos just because it's going to rain. You know, I mean, we told the employees, hey, come prepared, bring a raincoat, bring change of clothes. The guests, you know, everybody's got a smartphone. Everybody knew it was going to rain here in, in Central Florida. Matter of fact, the entire state got rained on over the weekend, you know. But the people were so appreciative that we were. They were they were grateful that we were going the extra mile to hand out those rain ponchos. And, you know, I know several of the managers took hot chocolate around to their employees just to try and help them get warm it was a you know yeah we're in florida but it was in the 60s and there was definitely a very cool breeze that was blowing and and by the time your clothes were all wet and everything so we got through saturday and then yesterday meteorologists really said it was going to be a good day but we woke up to a cloudy foggy mist all morning long you know, and, uh, and some employees weren't, weren't prepared for it, but we came through with them. We, we took care of our employees, you know, and everybody was so grateful. It was just a, it was actually a fun environment. I told somebody on Saturday, they were like, how's attendant or, you know, how's your, your worker numbers? I mean, people show up. I'm like, man, I had so many employees come to work. We were, vo- we were taking volunteers to go home early. You know, and, and people were just like in such a good mood, even though they were getting rained on, you know, and every, we were, we were soaked from our, from our head to our toes. I know when, uh, Jordan got home Saturday night, my oldest boy that works down here with me, 
he got home and he literally comes walking in the house carrying his clothes and because he had changed at work before he left to come home he wanted to drive home in dry clothes and he's carrying his wet sopping clothes through the house and they're dripping on the on the tile floor at the house and it was just you know i was like wow you know that that was i was wet but i wasn't certainly wasn't that wet and uh, but he was out on the hill and you know there's just there's no shelter out there he was just pure getting rained on and uh, he had his little raincoat on but you know, at that point when it's raining inches and inches of rain there's not a raincoat in the world that's gonna keep you dry so it was such a great day over the weekend um the guests that did come out really had a great time, you know, and, and it just was a fun atmosphere. It really was. So, you know, the message is we can make the best out of everything. You just have to mentally tell yourself that you've got to make the best of it. You mentally have to be prepared, you know, and that, that's the message. You can turn anything into a successful, fun-filled, you know, event. Now, are there some things that aren't going to be fun? Yeah, there are, you know. There, there are just some tasks that we all have to do that are just not fun, but, but we have to do it because that's the expectation. That's, that's our job. That's the things that we need to do in order to provide for our family and our friends and, and everything. But when you replace expectation with gratitude... You become a person that's looking to say thank you. You want to spread the joy of appreciation to that to the people that are in your inner circle, the people that drive you, the people that are helping you excel, the people that are showing you that every day can be amazing. You have to work at it, though. You know? If you're going into this world expecting that you're going to get that next pay raise, you're expecting that you're going to get that next promotion, you're expecting that paycheck that's going to come to you on Friday just because it shows up every other Friday on payday, I got news for you. You got a world of hurt coming someday because if you're expecting it, that means you're not working for it. That means you're not grateful. If you're not grateful, something's going to change. Whether that job changes, whether your position changes, whether your pay changes, something's going to change because you're not grateful for what you have. Be thankful for what you have today. Be thankful for what's going to happen tomorrow and the days of the future. You put your best foot forward, you stay excited, build your inner circle of friends and co-workers and people that are successful, put a smile on your face and tell someone thank you. When you go to bed tonight, I want you to ask yourself, what did I do to change someone's life? What did I do? Think about that. What did I do to change someone's life today? And I want you to answer that question when you go to bed tonight. All right? I tell you what, if you can answer that question and you honestly have changed somebody's life, say it with me because here it comes. You're going to make every day amazing. Have a great day, guys. And that's a wrap. Another episode of the Make Every Day Amazing podcast is in the books. Thanks a million for tuning in. Before you go, could you do me a quick favor? Head over to iTunes or wherever you listen to your podcast and drop a rating for the show. Your feedback helps amazing people just like you discover this podcast. Speaking of amazing people, are you the next amazing success story in the making? If you're ready to tackle life and its lessons both personally and professionally, get on my calendar by going to speakwithtodd.com. Together, we're going to build you a path to success. Are you ready to jump on board? I'll see you on the next Make Every Day Amazing podcast.